have been in suspension for eight days. In compliance Portal, a game filled with tons of puzzles that you'll eventually want to quit on since you can't solve them on your first 50 tries. It's a game with an interesting storyline that follows the hero's journey but with a twist. In the beginning, you are introduced to your herald, mentor, and only ally, Wheatley. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. He's a little blue-eyed spherical robot that was originally designed to be an intelligence stamping sphere so the antagonist, GLaDOS, doesn't get mad with power and take over the Alpha Science facility, which, by the way, is defunctional at this time. So basically, he's really dumb. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Next, you're thrown into a series of tests with absolutely no instruction whatsoever except an announcer that walks you through the game. Nothing happens here except that you, the protagonist, Chell, wake up and navigate through the first few tests leading on to the actual story. You confront Wheatley again after the first few tests, and he points out that there's supposed to be a portal gun on a podium. At this point, Chell trusts Wheatley since, well, he's the only one to trust at this point. You end up falling deeper into the facility, and if we fast forward enough... Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. We end up meeting GLaDOS, the main antagonist. This switches up the hero's journey sequence a tad bit. You meet the foes before anything actually happens. So far we've covered the hero's destiny journey, and we found a mentor. But we don't really know what the end goal is, do we? But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, new monsters. Coming up is the journey into hell. There are actually multiple of these since you go deeper and deeper into the facility as the story progresses. You end up getting back up and eventually escaping. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. So here we are. Hell. It actually goes quite nice with the name since there's five or wouldn't you think? So at this point, we learn what the end goal is. Try to defeat GLaDOS somehow. She almost killed Wheatley, and you know she's going to cause even more trouble. Do? What's that mean? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Fast forwarding through the story, Chell gets reunited with GLaDOS, she runs through some tests, and eventually Wheatley and Chell attempt an escape through the depths of the facility, which GLaDOS cannot reach. But they're the threshold guardian. Wheatley has no control except moving around on his maintenance belt. I would die! They told me that about everything! I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless! Man! Wheatley eventually devises a plan to shut down GLaDOS's turrets and neurotoxin. Two of her major weapons against Chell that were used in the original Portal 1 game. Wheatley acts as a mentor here, but Chell must figure out how to put the plan into action. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Warning Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. I, mm, I might not have thought this next part would be ah! well Chell gets separated from Wheatley, again, and falls into Gladys' trap, which also makes her a trickster. I guess only having so many characters in a story really fills up the rules, doesn't it? Next, Chell finds a way to replace Glados with Wheatley, which allows him to take her place and control the entire facility. This is where things go bad. Wheatley becomes mad with power and forces Chell and Glados, which is now shoved inside of a potato down a pit. Wow! Check the out, partner. We did it! I'm in control of the whole facility, then. I am not a moron! Yes, you are. You're a moron named Lanterman. May an idiot. Well, how about now? Now who's a moron? Could a moron punch you into this pit? Ah! Could a moron do that? 
Deeper and deeper into the Aperture's facility. Here we go, into hell again. Except this time, you sinned a little bit more and went deeper into it. This is the reversal. Wheatley becomes the antagonist. Gladys becomes your mentor. She helps Chell around the facilities below, but really can't since she doesn't have enough power in that little potato. This is another Threshold Guardian, but you eventually get back up and attempt to defeat Wheatley after he makes you solve tests. Ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Good, that's still working. This is the part where Wheatley attempts to create a plan in which he kills you and GLaDOS in place for two robots which are actually used for the game's cooperative mode as test subjects. This is the part where he kills us. Hello! This is the part where I kill you! But alas, he is still a core that was designed to create an endless stream of horrible, horrible ideas. This is one of them. You end up escaping and reaching his lair, or so he calls it. It's still a progress, don't judge me yet. Um, but, you know, eventually, I'd like to get them to, to sort of shoot fire at you. Um, moments before. No, 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 don't do that. Don't, stand right here, stand. Where do you go? Come back, come back! No, seriously, do come back, please. Come back, please. Here we approach the final battle against Wheatley, where GLaDOS lets Chell leave the Aperture facilities into an unknown world of wheat fields. Wheatley's incompetence eventually led to his inevitable demise. It's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the big, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway. Wheatley acts as another Threshold Guardian, blocking the path to Chell's freedom. She eventually uses the portal gun to place corrupted cores on Wheatley's body, prompting another core transfer. A stalemate is reached between GLaDOS and Wheatley, which prevents the core transfer. Chell tries to reach the stalemate button and press it, but it ends up Wheatley has booby-trapped it with bombs. You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well now we're all gonna pay the price, because we're all gonna bloody die! Oh, brilliant! Yeah, take one more look at your precious human move, because it cannot help you now! In a final attempt to escape, Chell shoots a portal on the moon with hopes of it working. It does, and they eventually get stuck in space while GLaDOS fixes everything up and pulls Chell back in. Space! Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm still connected! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it, and you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! The journey home. Shell's journey has ended. We know that she's an orphan. Who are her parents? Who are her parents? Does this mean she has nowhere to go? Probably never find out. Thank you.